Good morning, everybody. We're just rolling into Portage, Wisconsin here right now. We're on our way over to Iron Ridge, Wisconsin. Oh, and good thing I'm doing the speed limit. They're taking pictures right there. You stay there, buddy. <laughs> speed limit is 25 miles an hour here, which is pretty slow coming over that bridge I was thinking man this is really slow for this like shouldn't be 25 but you know me I did 25 anyway good thing I did otherwise I'd be getting pulled over right now on camera and I'd have to vlog about it that'd be awful no I haven't gotten a speeding ticket since I was a young younger kid here's another guy another cop oh they're serious no speeding in this town Lady, oh, oh, this guy's in a hurry. Another one. What's going on? Is everything okay? Did I come at a bad time? Yikes. Makes you wonder what's going on. Anyway, I guess we'll just continue with our day. They're not after us. Like I said, we gotta deliver this lumber I have on my step deck behind me to Iron Ridge, and then we head over to Middlebury, Indiana. Oh, wow, look at this downtown. Whoa, that is awesome. Oh, I love these little old towns. I get all excited when I go through one. <laughs> oh, the history here. See, now if I ever moved to the United States, I'd live in a little town like this. Not not like too small of a town, but you know, a little town like this with like an, an old 19th century downtown. At least that's what I would call it, a 19th century downtown. I don't know. Do I gotta turn here? Can I go straight? I can go straight, right? Doesn't say trucks turn. I'm gonna keep going. Oh yeah, there comes a truck down there. Okay, I don't feel as bad if I see another truck. Sometimes these little towns, they want you to go uh, around the main street. They don't want trucks on main street. Check it out. And here's the cop that had his lights on that blew past me before. Now suddenly he's not in a hurry anymore. So what was that all about before? Why did you blow past me with your lights on if you're in no hurry? And this guy's gonna jaywalk right behind the cop. Right there. <laughs> what kind of, what's going on? Did I wake up in a different universe? Maybe his call got canceled or something. I'm just gonna assume the best and assume that he didn't just use his police lights to get here a little quicker than he should have for no reason, you know? Look at these beautiful buildings though. Oh, now he's got his lights on again. Oh, that's what it was. He wanted to pull over. And there's another cop behind me, but he doesn't have his lights on. Portage, Wisconsin, you guys are serious about your law and order. Okay, Mr. Officer, please don't open your door right in, into me here. I'm gonna go past you nice and slow. Thank you. Somebody's a getting a spanking. Now I understand. He was he was actually chasing someone. He he did have a reason. See, you always assume the best. Or just don't assume at all. another hour or so to go to get to our uh, our delivery hopefully we get unloaded quickly I would like to get reloaded today yet but I, I kind of have a feeling that they're gonna want to reload me tomorrow morning there went another cop down the street in front of me you see that 
This is a very well policed town. I'm sure the residents of Portage, Wisconsin feel very safe. They have a cop on every second street. <laughs> oh, this is the police station right here, that's why. Okay. That makes sense. That's a pretty big police station. Wow. No messing around. Another cop! Okay. If you don't take anything away from this vlog, take away this. If you're going to Portage, Wisconsin, obey the law. Oh, we are filming. Well, we got here to our delivery. He's just pulling off, I think, the last couple. No, there's two more on this side yet. I need to clean this off. I've already all got all those. I did adjust the weight. I do have my riser with me. I do have the wheel straps with me. I do have new envelopes and maintenance sheets. So I do need to clean that off of there already. But hey, Diesel. Hey. Hey, old man. Hey. I am having my nap. It's my my second mid-morning nap. It's a new one. I just added it to the routine. Seriously, all this old guy does is sleep. Hey, old man. Hey. Maybe he doesn't like me calling him old man. <clears throat> hey, young man. Young man. Oh, he lifted his head. So that's what it is. You don't like me calling you old man? Okay, old man. I'll call you a young man from now on, okay? Is that cool, old man? Don't look so impressed. Come here. Come here, buddy. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Say hi. See? Good boy. Can they see you even? Good boy, Diesel. Yeah. Such a good boy. So tired, eh? You've lived a good life already, man. You earned it. Sorry to bother you, old man. Young man. He's gonna be eight years old this August. Man. You're such a good boy, though. Look at you, you're such a good boy. I don't care if you're getting older, man. I'm getting older, too. We're all getting older. It looks like they have uh, one more to take off here. I want this big, big compound thing. But as soon as they're done, I start heading towards Indiana. I, I'm not gonna get there before end of business day today. It's 11.30 right now, and they're in Eastern time zone too. Shoot, I just realized that. It's 12.30 there right now, and I'm 426 kilometers away, which is like six times four is what? Why can't I math right now? 24, 240, 250 miles away or so, give or take. I'm not going to get there till like supper because I have to stop and eat sometime yet. I need lunch. I'm hungry. So I need to at least stop and pick something up for the way. And by the time I get there, it'll be, you know, I'll have to load it up tomorrow morning. Which is okay. Tomorrow's Friday, so. What's going on over there? The guy's dragging his mud flaps. I think he forgot to put air in the suspension. Whoops. Okay, this is the last one, guys. I got to get going. I'm gonna put you guys down in here. That's it. All right, thank you. Here we go. I've gotten the official thumbs up from the official forklift driver. He looks just like a guy uh, that I work with, one of my coworkers. Looks just like him. Definitely Nordic, Swedish, or uh, uh, Norwegian or something. Just straight up. Like Nordic, you can just tell. Just like bright blue eyes, the long blonde hair. He looks like a Viking. Vikings are cool. Okay. So I gotta go to the guard shack now and uh, let them know I'm out of here. Everything's tied down on the day. Yep, I made sure everything was tied down before I came in here to talk to you fine people. Lights on. Let's not hit anything. There we go. Let's go uh, have fun driving around Chicago. This is how I feel about that. Yay, Chicago. 
Got to go and talk to this fine gentleman. He was really friendly before. Diesel, it's your buddy. Hey, we're going to go say hi to your bud. Hey, look, there's another guy. Another one of your friends on the back of this truck. Look at that. Look at that. There's one right there. Look at him. He's painting. Look at that diesel. Look at him. He's on the back. Of What's he doing on the trailer, man? No, you can't go out there and say hi. No, look at him. He's right there. Look at the back of this. Save big money at Menards. Do those commercials still, are they still on the air? I like them because they are dog friendly. Look, they even have painting dogs. He's gonna get his paws all full of paint though. Get ourselves rolling here again. You know, this area of the country, or this area of the state in specific, Wisconsin is awesome. All the little farms here, they're like the, the classic... Continue 500 meters. The, excuse me. Left on Highway 67. The classic American farm. When you have this picture of like that classic American farm in your head, that's what's everywhere all around here. Look at this guy, he's got all his flags out. This guy loves his country. Oh, he's got all kinds of flags. He's got like half a dozen American flags. He's got a Trump flag. He's got a Wisconsin flag. He's got a Poland flag, a Harley Davidson flag. He likes flags too. I like them. I love flags. I just don't go that hardcore with them. I don't think my wife would let me. I mean, if she'd let me, yeah, I'd have a lot more flags flying in our yard, but I, I just have the one. Turn left on Highway 67. Right now, I only have the provincial flag of Manitoba flying right now. It's very similar to the Ontario flag, and it's very similar to the old, original Canadian flag, which was called the Ensign. It had the British Union Jack on the top left corner with a red background with the crest of Canada, I guess is what you'd call it, on the the right hand side in the center sort of like Australia's flag without the stars and red with the crest and that's the same as the Manitoba flag it's uh I don't know I like it I want to get a, a Canadian ensign flag yet and I want to fly that because that's the original flag of the country the Canadian flag that you see flying today on the the flagpoles of the maple leaf that's a very new flag that only came in the last uh several decades ago. Okay, we're between Milwaukee and uh, Milwaukee and Chicago right now. I just stopped at a uh, truck stop. What exit was this again? I forget what exit we're at, but there's a petrol stopping center and I went to the, the sort of smaller truck stop on the other side. I like going to these smaller truck stops just because there's less traffic. Like here, there's just, oops, there's just this little bit of parking back here and that's the truck stop that way there. I know it doesn't really do you justice showing you, but I just want to sort of show you the, the size of it. It's a smaller one and you know, most people they'll run over to the Petro cause it's the big fancy one and nothing against them. They have amazing truck stops. I like them a lot, but I'm sort of in the mood today just to be by myself and not socialize too much. With that being said, there was a driver here that uh, noticed I had the steps for diesel that helps him in and out of the truck. And uh, I get a lot of comments on those steps actually. They're called Pet Loader and you can find them on Amazon if you're looking for it. Uh, maybe I'll post a link somewhere if I can, but it, all you gotta do is research, uh, just look for Pet Loader. There's all kinds of different sizes and stuff. Like mine are really dirty here right now. I don't want to show them to you because I had them strapped to the outside of my truck last week. I gotta wash them again. But uh... <laughs> I put I set them up and Diesel walked down them and walked back up and this other driver uh, talked to me here today and came to talk to me about it saying that ah, that's awesome. He has a, a smaller dog too and I think a cat inside the house and he has all kinds of steps and stuff built up for them so that they don't have to jump either because it, it's so hard on their joints and their paws and their back to jump in and out of the truck all the time and Diesel's a little bit too big, a little too big to, uh, you know, jump or for me to carry him you right, diesel this is your little hiding spot now eh this is your little hiding spot i like it that you sleep here because this is here then if i have to stop suddenly that keeps you safe yeah 
You're such a good boy. Oh, I love you so much. He's been with me since he was about 10 weeks old. Turning eight this year. I'm so glad that I met Britt and that I married a woman who loves dogs just as much as me. Maybe even a little bit more. And Diesel just loves her. And Diesel, you are my judge of character. If you don't like somebody, I don't like them. But if you love them, then I know they're a really good person. Right? You're a really good judge of character. Such a good boy. I wish you would stop getting older, man. You're supposed to live forever. Or at least as long as me. At least as long as me. That would be nice. Eight years old. How old would that be in in uh, human years? I think it's eight times seven, right? Approximately? Eight times seven, so... Well, that's not, that's not that old yet. Maybe I shouldn't be calling you old man. So that's only what? 56, right? I can't do math right now. <laughs> I'm a truck driver. I got calculators for this stuff. You know, when we were in school, our math teachers would always tell us, make sure you learn how to do it all in your head because you're not going to have a calculator in your pocket everywhere you go. <laughs> Proved them wrong. Okay, 8 times 7, 56. Yes, I was right. Thank you, grade 3 math. Awesome, I knew I was in grade 3 for a reason. I passed, too. So 56, you're only like 56. I, I gotta stop calling you an old man because my dad and my father-in-law uh, might take offense to that then. <laughs> but what am I talking about? They're both like 30 years old, right? My father-in-law just turned 29 uh, last weekend. Again, and I think my dad's around the same age too. Maybe maybe 29, 30, I don't know. I stopped aging at, uh, at 30 myself. I, I decided to stop having birthdays at 30. So this last birthday was my second 30th birthday. It was it was a lot of fun. But I wish you would stop having birthdays, man. I wish you would stop getting old. Dogs age way too fast, you know? They're truly man's best friend. He's been with me almost every day, for the most part, for eight years. The last trip when I took Chevy along and we went to uh, BC and then Ontario and back, uh, we were gone for two weeks. That was the longest I've ever been apart. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not true either. On our honeymoon, we left the dogs at my in-laws as well, my mother-in-laws. And uh, that was three weeks. Okay. Okay, so I've been gone for longer. It felt like an eternity though, man. It felt like it was... Did it feel like that for you too? You didn't even notice, did you? Because you had Britt there. You had mom there giving you all the love in the world. I don't know if you've noticed this or not. You may have noticed if you watch my wife's channel. Link is down below in the description. You might have noticed we're kind of uh, crazy dog people. We love dogs a lot. Not so much cats. I, I don't mind cats. I like all animals. But uh, especially, especially dogs. They're my favorite. I don't know. If there is a dog in the room, I am sorry. But I'm not going to be able to have a conversation with you because I'm going to be on the floor petting the dog the whole time. That, that's me at the party. So if you want me to like socialize with human beings, make sure there's no dogs at the party because you've lost me as soon as a four-legged furry friend comes around the corner. Right, Diesel? Ah, oh, great. Shaking my head, SMH. Getting off the tollway here in Middlebury, Indiana and whoever's at the front of this line Doesn't have a credit card or doesn't have cash, doesn't have both. Holding up this whole line to get off the tollway. Because they're having a hard time paying. I wonder what people do in this situation. Because you look at this, there's like 10 vehicles, a couple, oh, there's gonna be some behind me right away. I need to get through here. And there's no way for any of us to get off the highway now because of this one person who is not prepared at the front. Oh, oh, looks like they got through. Hey! How did it possibly take them that long? Must be their first time on a toll road. <laughs> I have Easy Pass, so I just drive up and it's automatically billed to the company. 
Maybe it's a slow machine. Maybe this guy's gonna take a long time too. Maybe something's wrong with it. This guy's... Oh, this guy's getting out of his pickup now up there. Oh, the machine must not be working properly. Okay. Okay. Guy sitting up at the front of the line right now with his uh, Dodge Ram with his tow mirrors out. No trailer behind him, just his tow mirrors out, you know. <laughs> the guy behind him too also has his tow mirrors out. What is it with Dodge Ram drivers always driving with their tow mirrors out, man? They must be hauling imaginary trailers everywhere they go. Oh, this one just opened. And I am going through here. Excuse me. Beep beep. Easy as that. Ooh, that's narrow. <laughs> Good times. Good thing that Dodge Ram driver wasn't in that lane. He wouldn't have been able to clear that with his tow mirrors out. We're just gonna stop at the truck stop off here to our left. Hopefully there's parking for us. And we gotta pick up trailers or next load across the interstate uh, to our right tomorrow morning. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Couldn't wait. Had to get in front of me. Didn't stop at the stop sign either. Well, he's in a hurry to get somewhere. There's supposed to be a truck stop right here. Okay, yeah, there it is. Hopefully there's some spots there for me. It's only like 10 spots at this place. Now, where's the where's the driveway? Is it on this road or is it on that road? I believe it's after these lights. 5.2 kilometers. Then turn left on US 12. Nope, we're turning in here, Mandy. Gallops, this way, oh. That's the name of the truck stop, Gallops, in Middlebury, Indiana. Lots of parking spots back there. Beautiful. I like it. I'm going to go park between those two dropped trailers, because I know they'll be quiet. See them off there to the left? I'm going to back in beside them, I think. Actually. No, no I'm not actually. The ground is uneven there. Make all the blood rush to my head then. I'm gonna park over here. How about on this side of these guys? sweeper go look at him go he's just giving her <laughs> well, I'm just backing into my spot here being entertained by this guy oh he's coming back don't worry he's coming back Just giving her. Still going. Still going. <laughs> oh, that 
that looks like fun. Go through steer tires very quickly. Is he entertaining you too, Diesel? Look at him go. Look at him go. Maybe he has a dog with him too, man. Maybe we'll be best friends. You never know, Diesel. You never know. But I do know I have to sneeze. Here it comes. Oh. One more. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Here. Okay, well that's it for the day everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it was a bit of a longer one today. I have a feeling like I've been doing a lot of talking today. I've been very chatty. Diesel, have I been talking too much? Well, you always talk a little too much for my liking, man. But, uh, I think you did okay. I think everything is good. Why won't you look at me? I am embarrassed. You're embarrassed just to be with me? I'd be embarrassed to be with me too if I was you. Try living with me in this body. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, like I said, uh, just across the interstate is where we're uh, picking up these trailers tomorrow. They're utility trailers. I believe there's three of them. I have all the equipment I need on the back of my trailer. I have my riser. Uh, I have all the dunnage I need for uh, wheel block, uh, wheel chocks. And I got the nails to nail those wheel chocks down onto the trailer. What else do I got? I have tarps, but I'm not gonna need the tarps. You don't tarp those things. And then, uh, so we'll load that tomorrow. It'll take most of the, the morning and afternoon, I'm sure. And then we'll start on our way home. Uh, that means Friday. So today is Thursday that I'm filming this on. Uh, Friday is tomorrow. We'll get a good ways home tomorrow, probably through Chicago, definitely through Chicago, to around Black River Falls, maybe a little further in Wisconsin. And then we'll be able to do the rest on uh, the next day. So I'll be home Saturday night. Sunday we have that family gathering for uh, my sister Rose's birthday, my birthday, my dad's birthday, and Easter all put together into one big family gathering. So my sister Rose's birthday was on March 29th. My birthday was on April 1st. My dad's birthday is on April 24th. And Easter is, well, Easter is Easter. You gotta take off work and celebrate Easter. It only comes once a year. It's sort of like Christmas. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube if you haven't already. According to my analytics, over half of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. So I challenge you to subscribe to me on YouTube. It's free. You just gotta click a button. And if you want to, click the bell beside it and that'll send you a notification when I release my new videos so you never miss one and you're never out of the loop. I'd appreciate if you did that. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.